Hi, David here of Lancaster MG. Here we've got an MG HS plug-in hybrid, 22 plate, it will be. And it's brand new, this one, in pearl white. And what we'll be doing in this video is just showing you some of the features it comes with. So we'll just start the driver's side door. We've got keyless entry there. We've also got blind spot monitoring just inside there. And you've also got a camera on the end of the wing mirror. If you're wondering what that's for, it's for the 360 camera. And onto the alloys on Michelin tyres as well. Obviously, no point off the curb in, there won't be any. And then you've got a very clean front end as you don't need parking sensors having the 360 camera. And then over onto the other side, we've also got keyless entry on the passenger door handle. We've also got this bumper moulding all the way around the vehicle. Prevents any stone chips taking paint off low down, prevents you getting rust in the wheel arches. So very good for longevity of the vehicle. We've got parking sensors on the rear, so there's four of those. And while we're on the back as well, you'd also get electronic tailgate. But just before we get to that, you do have reverse camera there and some badging showing you are in the plug-in hybrid model. So we'll just hold that button there. The boot will pop up. So you can see it's quite a large boot. There is a load cover. It's just a pulley style one. So I've just kept it out of the way for now. And also these seats, when you put them down, they do actually lock into position, as you can hear there. And then underneath the boot floor, you've got your charging cable, tire inflation kit, and then your battery. And also tow in eye, but hopefully you never need that. And then just press the button to lower that. So into the rear, you can see the seat is locked in place. Won't move unless you pull that little handle. You've also got a very fancy armrest in here. And as you can see, so we've got some USB pockets for your rear seat passengers and a couple of vents as well to keep them cool. And then you've got the very comfortable chairs in front. You've also got a little pocket in the back. So a look at those chairs from the other side because that's where they really stand out. So as you can see, they really are luxury seats these. And they're also a fully electric driver and passenger. So we've also got Electronic windows all around, as you'd expect in a vehicle like this. So once you're inside, it's keyless start, along with keyless entry. And you've also got all this ambient lighting everywhere, which has now gone red for us. And then back to blue. So you can actually customise that to be the colour you want it to be. So there's the full digital driver's display. Also got sort of controls for your sort of menus on this side. Got your audio controls over there and got automatic lights and you've got intermittent headlights that are fully adjustable over on this side and then just hidden down there you've got your adaptive cruise store and you've also got lane keep assist just over there and then over onto the center area just to finish up with you get a couple of cup holders under there you've got just quite a bit of general just storage under the middle then got your electronic parking brake auto hold full descent control, you've got a pure EV button with your hazard light in front, you've then got the 360 camera which I'll come to in a minute, and then you've got your button to open the tailgate, then as far as your gearbox goes, you've got park up there, reverse, neutral drive and a little unlock button on the side. Now to finish up, we've just got the centre console, so it does have navigation, won't load that up, just save you a bit of time. We've also got multiple ways to connect up your radio, or your, well, to connect up your audio, so there's plenty of options there. And when you plug something in, it'll automatically recognise that. You've then got vehicle settings. So if you do want to change all the ambient lighting, there's options there. So there's quite a few things to flick through here. So you've also got the battery level control. And then back to factory settings, but we don't need that one. So just to finish up with, we've got the 360 camera. So it does this little sort of intro before you get into it. And there you go, you can see directly in front of us there, hence they're not needing parking sensors, and then you can see behind as well. And then we'll just close that up, finish with the last little area, where you've got your two USBs, 12 volt power outlet under there, the one with the phone screens is the one you'd use for the Apple CarPlay. And then the very last thing to finish with, is you do get this lovely panoramic roof, keeps it nice and airy inside. So if there is anything I've not covered in this video or any extra info you want about the HS, don't hesitate to get in contact and we'll see what we can do to help.
Thanks for watching and take care. Bye.